Today we're going to do a quick demonstration on how to code a smart tyre TPMS sensor for an Aston Martin Vantage 2009. These sensors for the smart tyre system were used on Aston Martins between about 2005 and 2010 and they have this little box sort of inside the car just underneath the glove compartment uh, or sometimes in the boot where you can see a little LED showing you the status of each tyre and it's got colours after it which coincide with a little band on each wheel so you know which tyre is which. Now if your sensor has completely failed, the battery's died or the sensor itself has just become defective, you can actually get the details you need from the sensor itself inside the tyre. So once you've removed the tyre, or had a tyre fitter removed the tyre, you can see the part number is actually written on the back of the sensor. Now it's the last block of numbers that we need from this, which is the ID number that that sensor is broadcasting. So that's the ID we're going to clone or copy so the car doesn't realise that it's a different sensor that's been fitted to the tyre. If all your TPMS sensors are still working on the car, you just want to fit a new set of alloys to the car or just create backups of those sensors in case the batteries run low and you need to replace them at any point. You can actually read the IDs directly from the sensors using the Foxwell T2000 tool. This saves you having to remove the tyre and actually get inside to get the part numbers. You can read it directly from the sensors that are fitted and then use those to clone and create yourself a new set of sensors. Right, let's create a sensor. So let's start by going in and making sure the settings are right on the T2000 tool. So if we go into settings, we just need to make sure we've got it configured for Europe. Uh, we want it decimal and we want it set PSI and degrees C. So once we've confirmed all those settings are correct, we'll go back and we'll start creating the new sensor with the ID that we're going to pick from the sensor that we've just removed. So we go into TPMS, then we pick Europe, Aston Martin, and we go all the way now down to Vantage. And it's the smart tire system that we've got. Now we want to program a sensor and we're going to manually create it as if we'd only just taken the number off the back of the, the dead sensor. So we need to add an extra zero at the front just because the sensor IDs are one digit short. But we make sure it's set to decimal and we can type in the ID number of the sensor that we want to create. Double check that now matches the ID number that we want off the back of the sensor. And now we make sure there's a Foxwell sensor positioned nearby, which I've got one just above here. And we go to program. So it's detecting the sensors. You have to make sure there aren't any other sensors around or it'll throw up an error if it can see more than one sensor around that it can program. Programming is pretty quick. So the sensor has now been created for the ID number that we specified. And what we can do is we can go back and actually just activate the sensor and read it just to make sure it is transmitting the right information. So we can just delete that. That was a previous TPMS reading I made. So we press activate or the trigger button. There we go, that's the ID number that we've just created. And if you had made a mistake, it is possible to actually go back in and reprogram the sensor, uh, even when they're on the car. So it is pretty versatile. Uh, it's not a one-time program uh, with the Foxwell sensors. Thanks for watching, and any questions, please contact us at gendan.co.uk.